to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news from around the world part two so uh, let's uh, jump right into it but first of all I would like to say um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please sub uh, subscribe to my channels uh, Rebecca's Travels and Rebecca's Lifestyle it's uh, the red and white button also click the no uh, notification bell and uh, you'll receive uh, the latest videos from my travel channel or my lifestyle channel or if you want to subscribe to both then uh, thank uh, a really big thank you um so let's move on now according to breakingtravelnews.com these uh, five latest travel news points um are the latest travel news worldwide now number one unfortunately Boeing report further losses in the second quarter Boeing has posted a net loss of US dollars 2.4 billion for the second quarter primarily reflecting on the impacts of the COVID-19 virus and the 737 max grounding so it is a real shame um for boeing but hopefully um in the next quarter uh boeing will be able to um up its customers um and hopefully it won't re uh, receive as large as uh, as as last as the first and the second quarter so keep our fingers crossed for that now number two is qatar airways returns to helsinki which is the capital of finland qatar airways has resumed three weekly flights to helsinki today and now serves all four nordic capitals wow that is absolutely amazing well done for for qatar airways for that and uh, going to the nordic capitals um the carrier also offers daily flights to Oslo which is the capital of Norway, Stockholm which is the capital of Sweden and five weekly at flights to Copenhagen which is the capital of Denmark so well done to Qatar Airways for that and I really hope uh, passengers um, travel to these countries and on uh, the airline so well done thank you for that and i really hope fingers crossed it goes as safely as possible number three um this is a second good news costa rica is to reopen its borders this weekend yay well done to costa rica Costa Rica is reopening its borders to UK travellers from this Saturday following their nearly four month closure due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic so well done I really hope that it uh, goes as safely as possible for Costa Rica and obviously the UK travellers and I hope UK travellers um, do travel to Costa Rica. It looks um, a fantastic, beautiful country in Central America. Um, so uh, moving on 
to number four unfortunately american airline has to, airlines have to toughen the language on face masks american airline will receive all customers over the age of two to cover their face coverings at airport and on on board the plane strengthening a commitment to keeping customers and team members staff, staff safe the requirement will come in effective from today so well done for american airlines uh, for doing that um that's excellent news not only for customers to keep them safe um keep, to keep you safe if you're traveling on american airlines but there's uh, the staff as well so again i hope um that goes as safely as possible and uh, people will still travel with american airlines now number three at, at five um unfortunately heathrow airport in the uk which is the largest uk airport calls it for an end to quarantine roulette what it is a significant pa a passenger decline at london Heathrow has pushed the airport into financial loss for the second quarter it's absolutely terrible news um but hopefully for the third and fourth quarter they're able to get their passenger numbers up again passenger numbers were down over 96 percent over the period as global quarantine came to a virtual standstill even as borders slowly reopen the airport predicts passenger numbers will be down by a massive 60 percent and um, today's results uh, chief executive john holland k said it uh, should we should serve a, a clarification and call for the government uh, uh, to, uh, to make passenger testing mandatory um, before tra uh, traveling on an aeroplane uh, or to the airport um and it the uk needs passenger testing regrime and fast without britain is just playing a game of quarantine roulette so yes i do agree agree with him on that um, because it is um extremely important again um those coming into the uk and going out and um, making sure that they're safe to travel so um i do agree with him there and obviously because it affects other people in the uk and around the world so i would like to say thank you for watching please like and subscribe and share if you haven't already done so and i'll see you in my next travel video uh, which is going to be the latest travel news around the world part three and that is going to be tomorrow and it'll be tomorrow about six o'clock p.m gm at tea time so please everybody keep safe i love you all and um, 
I'll see you tomorrow so bye for now I enjoy talking about travel and I just love you all subscribers and watchers and bye for now see you tomorrow thank you bye